Today we'll be discussing the best time of year to buy a home. Hi, my name is Matt Barker and this is Brandon Hedges. We're with the Barker and Hedges Group at Remax Results. We'd like to thank you for watching our video blog. Before we begin, we'd like to point your attention to two links on our blog. First, if you're looking to find out what your home is worth, please click on What's My Home's Value? Or, if you'd like to see homes currently for sale in the area, please click on the Search for Homes link. Now, back to our topic. You know, one of the most common questions that Brandon and I receive throughout the year is when is the best time to buy a home? What we typically hear from our buyers is they want the highest amount of homes to see, makes sense, and they want to uh, bid the lowest amount possible when it comes down to negotiating. You know, like selling a home, it all comes down to supply and demand. Very true. Supply and demand are linked together very closely when we're talking about when the best time of year is to buy a home. And what happens is as we build through the year, January through December, we see inventory levels continue to rise. It's usually at the bottom as we're starting the year in January, and it starts ratcheting up into March, April, May, through the summer, into the early fall. And I can't believe we're actually here in fall talking about uh, what's going to happen this winter. I don't know where the year went. Um, but since we're here, let's talk about what the advantages are to buying a home at this time of year. Typically, we see the number of sales be kind of inversely proportional to the number of listings on the market. So as we move into October, November, December, and into January, those tend to be the lowest amount of sales throughout the year, but we also have the highest amount of inventory. So like Matt said, buyers like to have the most homes to pick from, typically gives us the best opportunity to negotiate, and we see that happen every year. It's cyclical, and it's happening again right now. We're seeing inventory levels begin to build. We're still at pretty low inventory levels as we look historically, but it is building from what it was at those peak months. You know, as you look at the course of a year, in January, the number of sales that take place, it almost doubles by the time we reach March. And then it maintains that level through June, July, and into August, and then September is a little bit less, October is a little bit less, November, December a little bit less, and then we hit the bottom again in January. It happens every year. It's going to happen again this year. If you're thinking about purchasing a home, this is a great time to be starting that process. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our video blog today and make it a great one.